everybody. It's time for me to answer some questions. Okay, what will you be doing in Peters Creek Parkway? Oh, girl, I'll be doing Madonna Girl Damn Madonna Show, Donna Delory Show, Britney Spears Show, Paul Abdul Show, and um, a little bit of everything, like I do on Richie Highway. How is the atmosphere there? In North Carolina? No, at Peters Creek Parkway. Oh, the people's like Richie Highway, but they don't call me out of my name. They more wave because I want to be like, maybe like two months ago as Madonna Girl and, you know, people driving by and some blur the horns and some just mind, you know, driving, mm -hmm. but I got a good, um, So basically feel. they love you here. Yes, they love me in North Carolina. That's great. So how... So, what are some of the things that you do here in North Carolina? I went to church. I got baptized in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. I'm um, Pindale Christian Church. I took and performed Madonna at Chemistry Nightclub in Greensboro, North Carolina. I was invited by Winston Salem Police Department to perform Madonna. Then I went to the Special Olympics, in North Carolina, and I won the trophy for the best costume. I was Madonna. And I performed at Pig Poundry in Greensboro, North Carolina. Okay. And Richard Childress, like Richard Childress, 70, 80s event, NASCAR driver in Lexington, North Carolina. So you said that you recently got baptized. Yes, got baptized. So do you consider to be a religious person or are you just... I mean, religious and... Um, I mean, is this religious thing new or... I've always been religious, okay. but I want to be baptized since I'm living in the Bible Belt in the Kingdom of God in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So you go to church every Sunday? Yes, girl, go to church as Madonna, girl. I went to church as myself. And when I went to church as Madonna, girl, Dale, they all loved it in Pendale Christian Church in Peter Creek Parkway. And they accept me in church as Madonna, girl, Dale, and as myself, Dale Crates. And they are um, very acceptable, very nice. I took and helped them on the um, community. On a Sunday, I washed the fire trucks and people's cars in the community. On Saturday and Sunday, they have events and they help everybody in North Carolina. Did you see any hot people at the car wash? Oh, I seen some hot, sexy firefighters. Oh my God, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I was checking out the hoses. Wow. So... What a, what a, what are some more um, other things that you've been doing here in North Carolina? I've been um, going swimming in the pool. I haven't went skinny dipping yet. You haven't? No, I know. I want to go. I want to do that next. Well, your neighbors are pretty close. Yeah, my neighbors pretty close. And so, do you miss Brooklyn Park? I, um, I miss Brooklyn Park. I miss all my fans in Baltimore, Maryland. That's where I originally started playing Madonna on Eastern Avenue. Glen Burnie, Richie Highway, but I don't miss my neighbors. You don't? No. no the mooches. I mean, the name calling, the salts, and you know, it's like, I was fed up to here with it. Isn't that one of the reasons why you decided to move down here? Yes, to get away from all the drama in Brooklyn Park. I love all my fans, and, and I miss Richie Highway, but I want a new memories. I'm sure Richie Highway isn't the same without Oh, you. no, girl. Richie Highway ain't the same anymore. We got um, Anthony. He's still up on there doing his little thing. I told him to keep on flashing the menu, me and boobies. And, you know, I was like... Then they said that um, Diaper Dave been on my highway. Well, honey, he don't got nothing on Madonna, girl. And if he's going to be on my highway wearing a dress, it's more than wearing a dress. I don't wear diapers. I've been potty trained. And, you know, I mean, it's okay if you got that fetish wear and diaper. You just don't want that Diaper Dave to give you a bad Im image, right? Yeah, I don't want Diaper Dave to give me a bad image, you know, because I did good things on And that's your highway. That's my highway in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Bless you in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus. I took a model for Dice Magazine on Richard Highway. I took him, um, been filmed with the Underwater County Police Department for cops. The Baltimore Sun did the article on Richie Highway, so I took and put Richie Highway into the revolution of love. It's okay for a guy to come out in the public if you want to perform in drag as your favorite idol. Mine is Madonna. And if you want to go be a street performer in drag, do it. Because we live once and there's too much hate in this world. It's about spreading love for the gay community and the LGBT community.
That's wonderful. So, um, you spoke of Anthony a few minutes ago. Yes. Um, do you talk to him frequently, or? Oh, yeah, I talk to Anthony. He's been staying in Fort Meade. He's been going on Richard Highway here and there, but he like, oh, you spilled the holy water in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And, um, I took him and talked to Anthony. He's doing good. He misses me. I told him to be safe and, you know, don't stay out late at night and keep on doing your thing. If anybody calls your names, just keep on walking and know them. All right. This is kind of a personal question. Sure. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with a female? Oh, my God. Yes, when I was a teenager. What was that experience like? She smelled like fish. Yes. I was like, I was like, when I live in Holland Town, and this was before I became gay, you know, because, and I was like, we did it in Patterson Park, and it smelled like fish. It smelled like, it smelled like Cross Street Market, Fish Market, and I was like, it smelled like the females in Brooklyn Park, some of the neighbors smelled like fish. I was like, oh my God, ew. Was it like a one night stand, or? There was, it was like a one night stand. So, I was maybe like 16 years old. I just wanted to see what it was like to be with a girl. Okay, so at that point you knew that you... Yeah, I like the pole, this. not the hole. Oh, okay. The pole was a lot cleaner than the hole. So was there anything that you'd like your followers to know about you? I want all my followers... I've been gay bash 25 years. And I want all my fans, my followers, be true. Do what you like to do. And if you want to be gay, bisexual, transgender, do it. If anybody bullies you, don't let it, don't let them see that it bothers you. Because if they see that it bothers you, they're going to continue. If they see that it don't bother you, they're going to stop. And be who you are and keep on following God's work. Speaking of bullying, I heard you've been standing up for yourself lately. Yes, I've been standing up for myself. I don't let nobody bully me, Mary. <coughs> When we was in, not too long ago, we was in Brooklyn Park, both of us, and this guy kept on calling me a faggot. This has been going on years before the incident started. I was, like, fed up with here with it. I mean, a person, 25 years being gay bashed and bullied and assaulted, I'm up to here. They're going to get the Madonna punch. I mean, I'm going to see enough for myself. You put your hands on me, you're getting the Madonna punch. And um, this guy kept on calling me a faggot in Brooklyn Park. I'd be dressed as... Madonna girl Dale or Dale Crates. Don't matter how I'm dressed. What's up, faggot? And I was like, you know what? And Mary said, when are you going to start standing up to them in Brooklyn Park? I said, Mary, you're going to find out when I stand up to them because I'm going to stand up to myself and not let anybody take advantage of me. Well, me and Mary was going up to Richie Highway and this guy called me a faggot. And I said to him, call me a faggot in my face. And he did. He started cussing Mary here. And I took off my Madonna shirt. And I was ready to whip his ass from Glen Bur from Brooklyn Park to Glen Burnie. I told him, I want the county police department. You better hurry up because I'm ready to whip some ass in Brooklyn Park. And they said, there where you're at. I said, get on my GPS and find me. Well, the police officer called and found us. And he got there in time. He told the other person to leave Dale alone. If he keeps up, I'm going to take him to court. Like I took the rest of them and put them up to court. And Mary was right. You were never picked on by this person again, were you? Nope. In the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit, nope. I stood up to myself. And till, even after that uh, incident, he seen me. He'd be like, whoa, whoa look like he's seen a ghost. He got away from me. There was a lot of people that bullied you in Brooklyn Park. Yes, it was. Who was the worst of who was the worst person that bullied you? It was a father and a daughter. I mean they should he's old enough to play golf in in a senior centers. You know, then the daughter was cussing me and texting me and sending Larry pictures and and it's like when is it gonna stop? And I was like, you know what? They're gonna they're gonna run out of luck. One day they're gonna wish they never did it. And that's when I got, it, got in touch with my cop friend and did what we had to do and we went to court. And I mean, don't be worrying what I'm doing, worry about what you're doing. I ain't breaking no laws. And then the um said that at least my father didn't rape me. I mean, what kind of person? You're supposed to be my friend. You come around my house and 
eat all my food, and come to my birthday parties, come to parties, and you want to call me names, like something like that. I was like, I don't need people like that in my life. And I was like, one day... And I'm sure it hurt your feelings as well. Because yeah. you thought she was your friend. Yeah, and she's a backstabber. No, I don't need friends like that. I mean, no, they no. use Larry. They, they use Larry like a bank. They use me like a bank every time. They know me when I have my bank card or Larry's uh, bank card. They want me to go shopping with them or buy them food. But they never took us out to dinner or anything like that. And they bought money from Larry and never paid him back. It was like... Larry, we need to get down to North Carolina. And that's when I uh, um, went on the internet and I kept on stopping. Larry said, get the house sold, get somebody to buy the house, we'll go down to North Carolina. And that's when I called some people up and Larry was on the phone with the other realtor and Larry got what he wanted when he sold the house for 4606 Richie Highway. And the guy said, Richie Highway, that's where Brittany Girl Dale is. I said, hey, that's me. He couldn't believe it. And I said, yes, that's me. And he said, why? Why you're moving? I said, because um, I told him about being gay bashed and the neighbors is everything. And then he said, Dale, I'm going to buy your house today. And that's when he bought the, the house from Larry. And we're down here today in North Carolina. We would have been down here sooner, but Larry has some health problems. And he's doing good in North Carolina. We both met wonderful people in North Carolina. He met people at um, Pig Pounder. Got, Larry got pictures with them. And Richard Childress, um, NASCAR Winery. Yeah, we all had good times. I mean, people don't call me. I've been down here, Mary, over a year. So I'm assuming your neighbors have seen you dressed as Madonna Girl Dale. Yup, they accepted it. They loved it. And I've been, I have been down here over a year. I had not been called out of my name. Uh, Jail and Katie in the morning show took invited me to the tour to Kids for Tots. It's like you give the kids coats. And Josie from the radio station invited me. I took and bought the boy and a girl coats at High Point, North Carolina, radio station event, the Salvation Army. I dropped them off and got pictures of them. The radio station took an interview me 2009 at Britney Spears' concert at the Circus Store in Greensboro. Then when we were at the um, X Factor, me, remember you were doing the camera, they, Fox, Fox 8 interviewed me, and they said, I got two Britney Spears in North Carolina, and at the X Factor, we, it was like, I'm so loving North Carolina like I'm in Baltimore, but living in North Carolina, I'm not being called queer, faggot, or gay. They are more acceptable in the southern community. I mean, people, is like the Bible Belt community. They are more, how can I explain this? They accept people who they are. They don't care if you're black, white, gay, bisexual, transgender. You know, they treat you like a human. That's how a person should be treated That's with exactly human. That's how someone should be treated. You're right. Not because they're gay, call their names, and all that kind of stuff. Right. We all deserve respect. Yep. We always deserve respect, Mary. Yep. So what is the craziest thing you've ever done? In North Carolina? Anywhere. Oh, the craziest thing I've ever done, I had a wardrobe malfunction with 98 Rock. I was at the air sex at Ram's Head. And I'm doing Madonna, doing Britney Spears dance moves on stage, 3,000 fans, and one of my balls pop out. <laughs> oh, I, oh, no, thank God Willie didn't pop out. You know, Willie would have pop out. Oh, my God, them ladies will be having a climax. Did you hurry up and fix it? Yes, I hurry up and fix it and put them back in because I didn't want them to get cold. And uh, I was like, oh, now I'm just like Madonna and Britney Spears having wardrobe malfunction. It happens. Yeah. So, can you tell me if there would be anything in the world you could accomplish right at this moment, what would it be? Keep on rolling the world and doing what I love. And keep on following my dreams. If you could say anything to someone that's being bullied right now, what would you say? Okay, if anybody's being bullied, take my advice like I told my friend Kenny Wolf. Kenny, I'm sorry this happened to you. I wish I could have been there for you more. May God be, may God be with you in heaven like he was in on, on earth. Rest in peace, Kenny. I want everybody who's being bullied, being gay bash and stuff, don't let them haters get to you. Show them that you are better than them and show them that your names ain't going to break your bones. And don't ever try to commit suicide because I tried it. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let them win. I'm not going to let the haters win. I'm going to show them. They're going to keep on Googling my name. 
And that's like Madonna's son, Rocco. I took and did a, you told me about the video, Mary. Do Madonna Ice Bucket video. And I took and did Madonna's Ice Bucket video. And one of my haters from Baltimore was bullying me on my Instagram account. And Madonna's son, Rocco, took up for me. And Madonna's son, Rocco, took and shut down my hater on my Instagram account. And the video is now with Madonna's documentary and her kids, Madonna's Kids 2019, featuring me at 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Wow, that's great. Yup, and, and I, I, dreams come true. Yeah, he uh, took up for you. Yup, and I took and did a video for Don Deloitte, Madonna's backup singer, her song Here in Heaven, and her producer, Aton Smith, took and loved the video. And Don Deloitte, um, love everything I do. I took and dance for her at Madonna's after party with Nikki Harris and the rest of Madonna's backup dancers. And I, it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be who I am today because they're inspiring me like Madonna's dancers slam. Loves what I do. All Madonna's staff loves what I do. Paul Addo, Britney Spears, Lynn Spears, Jamie Spears, Kesha. You know, when you get recognized by celebrities, I kept on climbing up the ladder, doing what I love doing in my heart. Everybody got something to do what they love and, you know, be an exploration to the world and be creative, be original, and keep on doing God's work in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, there's more to you than just being Madonna Girl Dale. Yes. Um, I know that side of you. Yup, you knew me since Eastern Avenue, Mary. I know you have a kind heart. Yup. You're very caring. Yup. You don't harm anyone. No. Nope. Um, I take you paranormal ghost hunting. Yes, ghost we want to paranormal you're ghost hunting. Very professional when you yep. go. We went to um, Wavy Hills and met Tina, and we had a good experience with Tina. Everybody, go to Wavy Hills in Kentucky. That place is phenomenal. Um, Mary, who've been there? A lot of um, Backstreet Boys been there. Me and Mary, Tyler Jensky been there, Larry and Jimmy, we all been there. We had a good experience there. My God, let me get my, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, it is real. It is legit paranormal at Waverly Hills. Marion is professional paranormal. She's been doing it for years. And we when we went to Waverly Hills, her equipment is like equipment you see on what is that show? The equipment you have. It's just professional. Professional equipment like you see on Ghost Hunters. But, I mean, I just wanted to let people know that you you can be, you know, a professional person when you need to be. Yeah. And I don't think a lot of people see that side of you. No. They judge me by yeah. the book. I think they just judge you because you're dressed as a woman. Yeah. And that's like Mary, when I was in Brooklyn Park, they had a guy who was a sex offender. Who do you think they pick on? Me or the sex offender? They picked on you, of course. Yes. The shopping center, they being me, but they have a sex offender working at Liberty Bell, Texas at Brooklyn Park. Richie Highway Shopping Center by Church Street, Richie Highway. They all signed a petition on me, but they got a sex offender holding up signs for Liberty Bell, Texas. Then he went into Panera Bread in Glen Burnie. Guess what he did? What did he do? He took his cell phone, right, and walk, snuck in the women's restroom, you know, your cell phone, snapping pictures of ladies in the restroom in Glen Burnie. And they let that kind of people work at a shopping center in Brooklyn Park and Richard Highway around schools, but they want to pick on me because I dress like a woman. I dress like Madonna and Britney Spears and wear outfits like they do. But I was like, you know, I was like, they need to do a background check on him. Maybe, you know, they wouldn't be having sex offenders on Mitchie Highway around children. But here they're signing petitions on me, but the mothers didn't get nowhere. They all wasted their time, and 2,000 mothers signed petitions. If there was anything that you could say to your haters, what would you say? To all my haters, you know who you are. I got something for you to do. Keep on Googling my name because there's plenty of work for me to do in North Carolina, Baltimore, and around the world. And dear haters, God loves you too. All right, one final question for sure. you. Now, 
what do you see yourself doing in 10 years? Will you still be, will you still be wearing the wig? Yes, girl! In the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Because I'm original celebrity in North Carolina. Yes, Weekly did a, a, a um, what do you call it? So Interview. basically you're never going to retire. I'm never going to retire. That's right. You're going to keep Not in this here. lifetime, bitches. Would you like to show the people what, I mean, would you like to take the wig off right now, the show, people, or do you feel more? This is Dale Kreitz. That's right. And this is me, who I'm going to be. You can like me or love me, but you can't stop me. So don't tell me to stop. Please don't. Tell the sun not to shine. Tell the rain not to get wet. So tell me love is true. It's something that you need to do. And Don Deloy, I love you. Nikki Harris, I love you. I'm Chris Finch. All my fans, all Madonna staff, thank you for supporting me over the years because I'm here for Madonna. When I got recognized by Madonna, it was a dream came true. And you know what, Mary? you probably seen it on Facebook, girl. Oh. When I met Paul, you was with me when I met Paul Adol. We were at Hershey Park. Mm -hmm. And Paul Adol took and hugged me and everything. She treated the pictures and I took and brought to Madonna's attention and her guitar player, Monty Pittman. I said, Madonna, Monty, will you sing one of Paul Adol songs? Guess what she did, Mary? She did straight up. And then me and Paula Doe did the Madonna kiss. Hey, girl! Yes, girl! Come here, girl! Come here! Say hi! Take that off. Yeah, Take she can. that off. Say hi! Come here! Say hi. This is Brie. Come here, Brie. I got something for you to say. Stand right here, sweetheart. You go to school. And I don't want no. If anybody bullies you, calls you out of your name, guess what I want you to do? Annoy them. Or stand up for yourself, or if they hit you, hit them back. Or smack you, hit them back. That's right, girl. I name the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Girl, you go, Brielle. <laughs> and, um, Brielle, and I want you to follow your dreams and be who you are and keep on doing God's work in the name of the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. And, um,. Bye, everybody. You want to help me with some holy water? Yeah. Okay. Wait, do you actually do it? Yeah. Um, Brielle, bless me with some holy water. <laughs> and the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God in the name of Jesus. Oh. I messed up a little bit, I started stuttering. <laughs>